So Steaks, Steaks Portal or Steaks Portal is here and we have a new hero featured which is Thanatos or Thanatos, whichever way one wants to pronounce. Uh, looks like a he, name of a he, but looks like a she also. So very interesting. <laughs> I'll call him a he. Druid class, ice legendary. The Stax family bonus is fantastic. It's available to one hero and that percentage 40, 60, 80 to cast minus 30 mana gen to all enemies for three turns and that can really mess around with the speed of charging of the opposition which is excellent. This uh, passive is also superb because it does not allow any defense related ailments which includes elemental defense to happen to Thanatos. Uh, in terms of stats, 791, 828, 1448, all three, when I look at them in tandem, are excellent stats. Delay the inevitable, and that is rightly the special also. First charge, which is very fast speed, two matches. <clears throat> I won't get into five point something number of tiles. I'll just say two matches, which is like six tiles. Simple. Uh, recovers 20% health for all allies, and all allies get plus 24 mana gen, so speeds up the mana generation for all allies. So that's like typically Milena's first charge, uh, you know, in terms of healing, quick healing, and there is a chance of mana addition percentage with the first charge. So I remember Milena's first charge. Second mana charge, which is typically average speed, that is three matches. It recovers 30% health and increase the mana of all allies by 10%, like Snowford does. So there's a straight 10% mana addition to all allies apart from the 30% heal. And the third mana charge will be a combo of the first and the second. That's what the typical stakes hero designs are. That is, recovers health 50% for all allies, increase the mana of all allies by 20%, and all allies get plus 40% mana gen for four turns straight. So, good hero, I would say. Um, that family bonus really may, adds to this particular hero's impact possibilities. And also, when I look at the stats, they really go, I would say, higher because of the passive of not being able to be given any kind of a defense ailment. I mean, that's a huge, uh, you know, thing for this particular hero because they, that brings in survivability and if this hero survives then we know the specials so not just heals but also speeds up all allies so there you go good hero i have this niggling feeling that i would have wanted this hero to have something like a, what do i say something more maybe you know one of the specials i mean one of the charge a mana charge or maybe the second one should have had a cleanse or a debuff or something uh, that would have just made this hero absolutely crazy chase worthy but also i feel that it would have become borderline uh, overpowered because whatever is added in the first and the second i mean given is going to get added in the third one so at the third one at slow speed being able to speed up mana and also do something crazy would really make things challenging but that's me thinking so that's that <clears throat> the other information i'll give is you know just for fun's sake uh, the soul exchange uh, speculative list is out and uh, for the fifth one so i think it started in the second one if i remember uh, well uh, and uh, the last three times <laughs> the lists have been damn accurate. We have been suspicious, but eventually when Solex came out, the list was accurate. So that's that. So if anybody who has not checked out, because I think most of us already know that list, I'm not going to spell it out where. So I'll leave it to anybody who's interested to go to the forum and check out the latest list that has been 
you know, informed over there. So that's that. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Cheers.